Rocky, are you having just such a great day today? It's been a seed starting weekend. First day of May today. Here in Connecticut, it still can cover around freezing pretty easily. I'm looking at my kiwi vines. Hey, what's up? My name is Crystal. Welcome. It is Saturday, April 30th, 2022. And I have my celery here that I've grown from seed. This is a Utah tall, or tall Utah, I can't remember. I'll put the variety down below. I have two of these containers. I have the other one in the greenhouse. I'm gonna try transplanting this one into where I have our broccoli and cabbage and um, Brussels sprouts growing. Well, kind of. <laughs> the seedlings I transplanted in there. Some of them didn't do very good. I believe these needed a foot of spacing. So the one foot of spacing is one foot total. I usually just divide that in half and then I can have six inches between each plant and then that way it's six inches around the plant so that it's sitting in the middle of a square foot. And that's the one foot spacing. They look pretty good. I've never grown celery from seed before. I watered them a little bit this morning but it's not sopping wet. So I'm just gonna take them out of the container and break them apart. There we go. Here's what the seedlings look like. And I'm just trying to keep them as intact as possible. All of the roots, I'm just gonna break all of these apart and then put them in the ground. So some of these I'm gonna try in different areas out here and then we'll try some in the peas. And then we'll water them in. All right, so I just put one in a container and now I'm going to put some more at this bed here. I'm trying to make sure that when I plant them, I'm keeping this crown part in the middle above the soil. So I'm just planting it right up to there. I just started the homegrown green beans from last year. Uh, I had some that were starting to grow, but when we put the trellis in, I <laughs> knocked the seedlings around a little bit. I just put two seeds in per hole right up against the trellis here. And now I'm also going to be starting some morning glory seeds. It's still a little early to be starting these outside, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these little mini cloches that I have and just start some of the seeds right up against the trellis here and then put the cloche right on top of it. Keep the soil warm and prevent it from any frost damage or anything like that. The first one I'm gonna start is the Morning Glory Choice Mixed Colors. These are seeds from the Dollar Tree. I like Morning Glory seeds because they're larger seeds that are easier to handle. <laughs> And as they grow up, I'll have, I'll train them to go around the cattle panel trellis here. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side using the opposite corner of the trellis. We're gonna plant the Burpee Morning Glory Celestial Mixed Colors. This is the front of the packet. Here's the back of the packet. And that's what the seeds look like. Just like the other ones. I'm also gonna start these Lufa Gourd seeds. I know it's really early. It's supposed to be around 36 at nighttime. Then it's supposed to start drastically warming up. And there is still chances for frost. Here's what the Lufa seeds look like. At least if it does get too cold, the cloche will protect them. This is the new trellis that we put up. And I'm really excited to see what it will look like once the things start growing. Steve is over here today 
<laughs> tackling the enormous brush pile that is a couple years old, if not more. Some of it was moved from over here at one point over to here. It'll be nice once the camper is able to be parked here. We got this burn barrel, I don't know, a couple of years ago. It was metal barrels for sale on Craigslist. And so we went and we bought one fairly cheaply. I don't remember how much it was maybe 20 bucks or so. I don't remember the exact amount. Then Steve drilled a bunch of holes into the bottom of it for ventilation. We initially bought it to burn all of the pricker bushes we had pulled out and it worked really well. We were able to get rid of them fairly quickly. It's been relatively dry here, so that would be a good day to start clearing some of this stuff out. But it works pretty good and it keeps everything contained and all Steve and I do is um, make sure that it stays really wet around the base of it. We always make sure one of us is over here keeping an eye on it. Hello ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you guys snacks. I'm looking at my kiwi vines. They're looking pretty good. Liking this trellis here. That's the smaller plant over here. And this is how the bigger plant looks. It's getting um, little buds on it going all the way around the vines across the top. I don't know that I'll get fruit from them this year, but we'll see. I'm just happy to see them <laughs> growing again. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's the next day. Already started a bunch of melon, cucumber, and squash seeds. I'll link here that video if you're interested in it. But one of my favorite pest deterrents in the garden are marigolds. And it just, the, the scent of them is so strong. Um, and not only attracts the bees, but it prevents uh, certain bugs from getting on my tomato plants and things like that. Some of these, these seeds came from the dollar store. These ones are from 2021. These are the ones I grew last year. The year prior, I believe the ones I grew were actually store-bought marigolds. But this is what the seeds look like. They're, they're very light and <laughs> feathery. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start a couple in different corners here. This variety is French Dwarf Double Mixed Colors. These didn't get too large. Some of the ones I've grown before, they, they, they can get pretty big. This one gets up to two to three feet. So I'm gonna try these ones too. And I'll water those in. All right, I've been doing so good with like the things, all the things growing in the containers. I've got carrots and bushing green beans and I started a royal burgundy bushing bean this morning. I think I'm gonna try parsnips again. The shoulders can get to three inches. I'm not gonna sow very many. I think I'm just gonna do like four in here and see how they do. But I haven't even had good luck getting these to sprout before, so. The ones that I'm going to be starting are the hollow crown parsnip from Baker Creek. These are from 2020, these seeds. Pre-moisten the soil a little bit. This is what the seeds look like, kind of like oats. And I'm just gonna do three per area and then thin back as needed. They need to go down about a quarter inch to a half of an inch. It's been a seed starting weekend. First day of May today, it's very exciting. It's nice and warm out, but here in Connecticut, it still can hover around freezing pretty easily. So just gotta make sure that you have a way to cover up the plants or have a greenhouse for them. And then it's really not a big deal. I just have to get that last one. What we are doing is we are limbing 
this tree so that we can easily park our travel trailer under this. So today Steve pretty much got rid of all of the brush that's here, except for these new branches that we just fell. And we have all of this charcoal <laughs> for the compost and this one over here. Rocky, are you having just such a great day today? <laughs> this looks a lot better. Now that I've seen it cleaned up, I already have plans for making this nice, doing some sort of rock border with mulch. At least we have plenty of rock. We do. This looks already so much better. So overall, I feel like it's been a productive weekend, mostly. I started a lot of seeds. I still have to separate seedlings. Uh, the t peppers need to be separated and potted up and the tomato seedlings. I'm more concerned with the tomato seedlings. I feel like the pepper seedlings I could almost separate when I transplant them outside. The tomato seedlings definitely need to be separated and potted up from the peat pellets that I started them in. So hopefully I'll be doing that this week. I don't know, there's just so many, there's a big list of garden tasks that I need to get done. So I should probably write it down. It's all in my head. But maybe if I write down the list, I'll be a little bit more organized with how I do things. But that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. We would love to have you. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.